Let's work on part B in this video. So what is the mathematical expression of the budget constraint with the welfare program and sketch them with and without the welfare program. So let's see how that's going to look like. Let's start. Let's start when we don't have the welfare program. Uh, now, that means we don't have that benefit of 600 euros. If we don't have the benefit of 600 euros, what are going to be the intercepts on this axis? We have the income axis, that's the most money that we could make. And we have over here the leisure, because the 720 hours that we have to allocate are between leisure and work, meaning that maximally we can have 720 hours of leisure. And in that case, we would earn zero euros. Hope this makes sense. Now, the other question is what's going to be the Y intercept? What is the maximum amount of money that we could be earning? Let me just zoom out to get more space over here and we will do so. We know that we make we know that we make 10 euros per hour and there's 720 hours in total. So 720 hours, if we work them all, 720 times 10 would be 7200 euros maximal earnings. So that would be the Y intercept, the most money that we could we could make. Now, if we connect, if we connect the intercept, we're going to have our budget constraint. There's nothing related with the 600 euros in benefit here because we don't have that benefit. So this is going to be the budget constraint. Now, how can we write? How can we write this budget constraint? Well, this is a line, meaning that we will have a function. We will have y as a function of the x axis and on the x axis is leisure. So we start with an intercept, right? We have 7200 minus the slope times what's on the x axis. And the slope over here is 10, right? The slope over here is 10, 7200, the rise over 720, which is the run. Why is the slope 10 over here? Well, the slope is 10 because that's our opportunity cost. If we want to increase leisure by one unit, literally, if we go from this point of leisure to one extra unit of leisure over here, then we must give up one hour of work. And one hour of work means 10 euros less in our pocket. Hope this makes sense. So 10 is the opportunity cost for resting one more hour. So minus 10 times the leisure. Now with that said, let's see how we do it in the case of the benefit. Because in the case of the benefit, there's a 600 euros that we must take into account. Okay, so when we have the 600 euros, when we have the 600 euros from the government, we can rest all the hours. Even without working, we get 600 euros at least. Meaning, meaning that if we rest, if we have leisure for 720 hours, we would still get 600 euros. That's, that's our minimum point, so to speak. But what we saw in the previous video is that the effect of the benefit is canceled out. Since every euro, every euro of, those six, of those 600 that we get, every euro of those 600 that we get starts to be reduced by 40%, by 40%, until a certain point and we saw in the previous video that when we have earnings of 1500 euros we reduce we reduce that benefit the effect is cancelled out because it is taxed from us meaning that when we have when we have money worth of 1500 euros over here so 15 1500 euros and we saw that we make 1500 euros when we work when we work 150 hours well, 150 hours means 570 hours of leisure so that we could plot it on the leisure axis. Hope this makes sense. That's just 720 minus 150. Uh, 15, I'm trying to make this accurate so that the slope, because we'll have a kink in the budget constraint and I'd like to show that kink. Let me see how to do that. Let's suppose that 570 hours of leisure are going to be somewhere over here. So somewhere over here, that's going to be 570. Now let's connect this. Let's connect this with a different color like that. So this is going to be the slope of the budget constraint until we get that benefit. And we saw that that benefit is canceled with 40%. So from the from the 10 euros that we get per hour, we only keep in our pocket six euros of it, meaning that the slope over here is going to be six. Hope this makes sense. Now, after we cancel out, after we cancel out the effect of the benefit, right? Because the benefit has been reduced totally at this level. The 600 euros have been reduced by 40% and beyond that point, there's nothing to be reduced. There's no more benefit to be reduced. So if there's no more benefit to be reduced, it means that we keep all the money in our pocket, meaning that the opportunity cost is going to be 10 euros per hour. And we saw that the opportunity cost is just the slope of the graph, meaning that the slope now is going to be 10 euros. So the slope has to be sharper, steeper. Right, a steeper slope means a higher value. So it's going to be something like that. I hope I hope this will prove the difference. 
so it's gonna be something like that yes this is gonna be a slope of 10 and now because we suppose that we keep all the money in our pocket the maximum amount of money that we could make with 10 euros per hour would be 7200 euros hope this all makes sense now with that said we have one more thing we have one more thing to figure out here and that's what is the budget constraint when we have the benefit and the intuition is this when we have the benefit even without doing any math well intuitively we can understand that if we have money given to us well, there's a less incentive, a lower incentive to work, right? There's a lower incentive to work because we get money for free. Now, with that said, what is the budget constraint when we keep that in mind? Well, what is going to be the maximum amount of money that we could make? Assuming six euros per hour, what we're trying to do now is to find the intercept if we extend this slope. So if we go all the way to here, what's going to be the intercept? What's going to be the intercept over here? Well, let's see. We would be making six euros per hour, meaning that from the 7,200 euros that we make totally, right? If we would make 7,200 euros with the benefit, we would keep only 60% of it. So that would be multiplied with 0 0.6, but then we would be given 600 euros as a benefit. So plus 600, well, that's equal to 4,920. So that's equal to 4,920, meaning that the intercept that we were looking for over here, 4,920 euros, is this. And the slope, as we just discussed, would be the six euros that, would be the, that we would keep net in our pocket. So the intercept on this range, or better said, the, bu the budget constraint on this range, when we keep the benefit in mind, would be equal to 4,920 minus six times L. And that would be the budget constraint that Betty would keep in mind when she's trying to maximize utility having the benefit because she assumes that the opportunity cost is lower since the benefit is taxed and therefore she must adjust her, she must adjust her budget constraint. Hope this all makes sense. We'll see how this works out with actual numbers when we find the solutions in the next uh, two questions.